Hello at Excel students, we're looking at paper 3. In this video, I'm going to give you the structure of the exam, but crucially, I'm also going to give you my key tips so that you can go into the exam room and smash it when this paper comes along. Let's go to structure first. It's a two-hour exam, that's 120 minutes. Worth knowing the minutes so then you can break down in terms of time allocation per question. There are going to be two sections in paper 3, section A and section B, and it's going to look like a given section is tailored towards micro or macro. So for example, Section A might look like it's focused around micro because it's about the energy industry in the UK, for example. Section B might look like it's macro because it's focused on the macro performance of a given country. Um, it might look that way. The extracts might give you that, uh, that hint that, yeah, this is a micro-focused uh, section here and this is a macro-focused section here. But don't be fooled, even though it might seem like it's micro. It might seem like it's a macro-focused section. The questions could be both, micro and macro-focused. but. Anyway, you're going to have a case study in each section, so extracts in each section there for you to consider. There are going to be three compulsory questions in each section. You're going to have a five mark explain question, or it could be a five mark explain using a diagram, it could be a five mark calculate, most likely a five mark explain question based on something in the extracts. Um, you're going to have an eight mark examine question, and you're going to have a 12 mark discuss question. For the eight and the 12, you need evaluation, so it's KAA points, and evaluation necessary on those two, whereas the five marker is just KAA, no evaluation necessary at all. So those three questions in both section A and in section B. Um, so they are worth 25 marks in total. And then at the end of section A and at the end of section B, there are going to be two 25 markers thrown at you. You are going to have to choose one of those 25 markers to do. So one in section A, you're going to have two there, pick one from those two. You're going to have two thrown at you in section B, pick one from those two as well. They are going to be micro and macro effects questions. They're evaluate, they're evaluate questions, absolutely, in the same style as paper one and paper two, in that sense, evaluate. But crucially here, it's evaluating micro and macro effects. So the 25 marker uh, in paper three, both in section A and in section B, is different to the 25 marker in paper one and paper two. Make sure you're aware of that, because you're evaluating micro and macro effects. Very specific style of 25 marker here. As I've already said, even though the extract material might signal, oh, this is a micro focus section, or this is a macro focus section, the questions might be different. So even though um, the case study will be about the UK energy industry, there might be a macro question thrown in there, you know, which might surprise you a little bit. And even if the uh, extract material seems like it's macro focused, you might get a micro question thrown in there. And so don't let that surprise you. That's just the nature of paper three. It's a micro and it's a macro uh, based paper here. You need to know everything in micro and macro therefore. Okay, so just because the case study signals micro and you see a macro question, don't let that fool you. That's absolutely what could happen here. What about my key tips? Well, devote one hour for each section. So one hour for section A, one hour for section B, logical way of breaking up your time here. Right, then just think it's a minute a mark for these shorter questions. So five minutes for the five marker, 8 minutes for the 8 marker, 12 minutes for the 12 marker. These questions are supposed to be short, they're not supposed to confuse you and make you write pages and pages and pages, they're meant to be simple. So don't waste time uh, on those questions. A minute a mark for those three questions. 35 minutes though for the 25 marker. You've got to do a damn good job on that 25 marker. Give yourself 35 minutes. Don't waste time on these three and lose time there. That's important to stick to 35 minutes for the 25 marker. You've got to choose your 25 marker very carefully, that's a very important thing to do. Make sure you use the extracts damn well. Get into them. You know, all the questions will be based around the extract material. Use the extracts well when it comes to application. That's a very important uh, tip I'm giving you there. Now here, the extract reading time is within the times for the question. Not like in paper one and paper two where you've got specific reading time, where you can read and you can hunt down exactly what you need to answer the questions. No such thing uh, in paper three. You're so time constrained so you've got to make sure that within the time of you answering the question, you're also using the extract material. No specific time, just reading the extracts here. Um, you've got to know your micro and macro effects well, especially for the 25 mark question, your micro and macro effects. You can practice that. If you see my exam technique video for the 25 marker in paper three, you'll see how I do it. You can copy my basic style of how to make sure your micro and macro effects are known damn well. But also tip, your micro and macro knowledge, you've got to make sure it's perfect. So obviously you've done paper one and paper two by this time, so your micro and macro knowledge should be very, very good. But in the time you have after your paper two, make sure that you still are revising your macro and you are re-revising your micro as well. 
you've got to make sure that both are perfect for paper three, where any questions can come up from micro and from macro. So not just your micro macro, macro effects for 25 markers, but all your micro and macro knowledge, of course, you need to know that damn well too. You know, so don't take anything for granted, re-revise everything, and you'll be fine for paper three. Stay tuned while I go through specific paper three exam technique, uh, especially for the 25 marker. I've covered the uh, exam technique for the five, for the eight, and for the 12 um, in the playlist already, so you can look at that for exam technique for those questions. Um, there is one video left now where we look at the 25 mark uh, evaluate questions specific to paper three. Make sure you stay tuned to get all the exam technique that you need. I'll see you all in that video.